Hi, welcome to English 4100 Advanced Composition. Um, my name is Carrie, <clears throat> Carrie Morris. Um, you can call me Carrie, Dr. Morris, Professor Morris, Professor, Dr. Carrie, Professor Carrie. Just please don't call me Mrs. Morris. <clears throat> to tell you a little bit about me, my background is in rhetoric and composition. So I have a particular interest in Greek rhetoric and persuasion, and I've written about epidixis, which is the rhetoric of praise and blame, which is not a kind of rhetoric that we're going to do much with this semester, um, except for the very first assignment, and we'll talk about that uh, as things go along. So I am a writing teacher primarily, and I direct the writing across the curriculum program and enjoy very much uh, working with students and uh, folks on their, writers, uh, on their writing. I'm also a, writing uh, a writer myself, so um, I think I keep some uh, sympathy for you as things go along. Okay, let's take a look at the syllabus. If you have not done so already, pause this recording. And I would recommend you print out a copy of the syllabus so that you've got it there in front of you. Um, it was really put together to be a, a physical document, so it uh, looks better, I think, um, if you've got it on paper. But if you're a strictly electronic person, then keep it online. And let's just go through some of the, um, the key concepts that are in here. So the thing that I want you to really be thinking about, because we're looking at the topic of social media and the public intellectual, all of which sound pretty weighty, but I really want you to start uh, thinking of yourselves as public intellectuals. You are people who are in school, <clears throat> and you are part of the educated class of Americans. So the way you use words will uh, have hopefully even more of an impact than people who um, um, are not prepared to speak um, and who are not uh, ready to make good arguments. I want you to know that words matter. <clears throat> We're told all of our lives that sticks and stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. And then someone calls us fat or stupid, uh, and we really learn pretty quickly that words can very much hurt us. Um, the words we use for each other, for ourselves, for our programs, for our plans and hopes, these words matter. On the front of the syllabus, I quote Isocrates, and he says, Because there has been implanted in us the power to persuade each other, and to make clear to each other, each other whatever we desire. Not only have we escaped the life of the wild beasts, but we have come together and founded cities, and made laws, and invented arts. And generally speaking, there is no institution devised by man with the power of speech um, has not helped us to establish. He sees words as the fundamental part of our existence. Um, what is democracy except a constitution, an agreement written down on paper that is shared or not between um, a government and uh, a group of people? Um, so many things in our lives are shaped by words. We become married because of words. We become citizens because of words. These words have, uh, at least for the ancients, a magical quality. There's a sense that they actually transform us. And with us, a practical quality. It's an agreement. If you and I both agree that I'm the teacher and you're the student, then the words that I use to describe your performance affect your grade, go on your transcript, affect your future. Um, so words are very powerful and they're, they're one of the key things that we have. And as far as I'm concerned, they're a lot better than the other sources of power that we have in the world. Um, I would much rather see us use words than weapons. Words are everywhere. Um, we are the most literate generation, and particularly young folks are the most literate generation that have ever lived, according to the UN. Everything you do uh, involves writing. Uh, you text, you uh, communicate on social media, you are very, very text um, uh, focused and you read and write a lot. Um, people complain because you don't read the right kinds of things and you don't write in the right kind of way, but we'll look at those things as we'll go. 
Okay, an overview of the work that we're um, going to do. Just very quickly, again, this is a repeat of the syllabus. The first unit is one which I call speech competition, but don't worry, I'm not asking you to give a speech or have a competition. Um, you're going to be the judge. Um, unit one um, starts on Wednesday, and I'm going to give you two speeches um, to listen to, both by presidents, both given on the event of a tragedy. And that's going to be a chance for us to talk about the rhetorical uh, concepts and terms that we're going to use this semester and to talk about what we like and don't like about the use of public words. Presidents are theoretically um, our highest ranking public intellectuals, and I guess it depends on which president is in power how much we really believe that. Um, but they shape very deeply how we do what we do. Our second unit is public intellectuals and social media. We're going to uh, take a look at, uh, at social media, including uh, Facebook, Twitter, and blogs. Those are the things I'm familiar with. You're more familiar with perhaps Instagram, um, maybe even Reddit, um, Tumblr. Um, I hope that you have a chance to share those with me. Um, in addition, we're doing a Wikipedia assignment. We're going to um, edit in groups um, a wiki page from the big behemoth wiki. I know you're told all your lives not to use the wiki, but we're going to learn a little bit how the wiki is, how crowdsourcing works for the wiki and contribute ourselves. The last unit is a series of um, revisions and um, uh, reflections. And we'll talk more about that as we get there. Um, I want you to know that this is the status of the calendar right now. Uh, each unit will come with a much more detailed calendar, and you'll be given work to do throughout that unit. Um, this is not an individually paced class. It's not set up for you to um, go from uh, beginning to end as fast as you can. It will be given to you um, in little bits and pieces. Which leads me to our final um, slide, which is the nature of online classes. Online classes have strengths and weaknesses. Um, so do face-to-face -face classes. Um, one of the strengths that I very much like about online classes is that it gives folks um, a chance to communicate who wouldn't do so otherwise. A lot of you um, in the world are shy, are introverted, face disabilities, um, things that keep you from participating in the same way that um, some of the rest of folks around you participate in class situations. And online classes gives you a chance to stop and think, um, plan, and be more careful in your participation. Uh, and I like that very much. The thing I don't like is that I think community is a lot harder to build in online courses. And as I said just a second ago, this is not an individually paced class. This is a community class. You'll be doing one major project as a group, um, and I'm expecting that we will do um, things that will build community. Uh, one word about the flow of work. Our work week starts on Wednesday, so this is an introduction, but the actual unit starts Wednesday. Um, so that gives us a chance to uh, do the work and so on over the weekends, gives you, you know, the extra time to do that work. Um, and then um, we start uh, a new week on the following Wednesday. So this is what you'll get from me today. I am posting a discussion board online to, uh, to field your questions, any questions you have about the um, syllabus. I would particularly like for you to make those public so that everybody else can benefit. I can guarantee you if you're confused, then the person next to you in the virtual world is also confused. So print out the syllabus, read it from stem to stern, um, and come at me with questions. I look forward to meeting you. Um, you'll note that I have office hours. Please come by and see me. Please contact me online. However, it is best for you to reach me. I really want to see a lot of you this semester, even if it's not physically uh, in front of me. I want to communicate with you. So um, introduce yourselves. Let me know how you're doing. And um, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.